Hi and welcome to Aviation and Air Traffic Control Series. This lecture is about area navigation. Freedom for aircraft to fly from point to point with or without using ground navigational aids. The conventional navigation is based on ground-based aids that includes VOR, DME, which limit the routes and procedures to their physical locations. Aircraft wish to fly straight from airport 1 to airport 2, but VOR cannot be placed on water body, thus a VOR is installed offset route. Thus, aircraft will navigate from departure station to en route, VOR, and thereafter to the destination station. So, aircraft is navigating from one ground navigational aid to the another, thus aircraft has to travel more, resulting in higher fuel cost and higher airfares. Direct flying with the use of area navigation started in the 1970s. Area navigation is enabled through the use of a navigation computer, FMS. Waypoints are input into the computer with an integrated database. The flight crew then creates a route as a series of waypoints in accordance with the flight plan. The computer estimates the aircraft position using the fitted navigation sensors and compares the estimation to the defined route. Now with the help of area navigation aircraft can fly direct routes between any two waypoints. Waypoints are imaginary points in space which have specified geographical position in terms of latitude, longitude. Flyover waypoint a waypoint at which a turn is initiated in order to join the next segment of a route or procedure. A minimum distance after turn to track is known as minimum stabilization distance. Flyby waypoint is a waypoint which requires turn anticipation to allow tangential interception of the next segment of a route or procedure. So aircraft before reaching the waypoint will commence a turn. Area navigation routes. Lima, Mike, November, Papa, these routes are area navigation route and also part of the regional networks of ATS routes, most preferred routes by international airlines. Quebec, Tango, Yankee, Zulu, these routes are area navigation route but they do not form part of the regional networks of ATS routes. Navigation aid infrastructure. Ground-based radio navigation aids, VOR, DME, located at specific aerodromes or en route due coverage limitation of these equipments. Space-based aid global navigation satellite system it is a worldwide position, navigation, and time determination system which includes one or more satellite constellations, aircraft receivers. And system integrity monitoring augmented is necessary to support the required navigation performance for the intended operation. RAIM is receiver autonomous integrity monitoring a technology developed to assess the integrity of global positioning system signals. Aircraft on board aids like inertial navigation system is a navigation device that uses a computer, motion sensors, accelerometers, and rotation sensors, gyroscopes, to continuously calculate by dead reckoning the position, the orientation, and the velocity of a moving object without the need for external references. Thus, an area navigation is a navigation system which permits aircraft operation on any desired flight path. Within the coverage of station referenced navigation aids or within the limits of the capability of self-contained aids, or combination of these. Flight management system is the aircraft master computer that uses a large database for sophisticated computations which enables pilot to control the aircraft. Navigation database stores information on waypoints, nav aids, runways, frequencies, routes, SIF, star. Navigation database coding is the international standard file format for navigation data that allows an FMS to create a continuous display of navigational data, thus enabling an aircraft to be flown along a specific route. Types of Area Navigation System Two-dimensional area navigation system which provides navigation in horizontal plane. Three-dimensional area navigation system provides navigation in horizontal plane and has a guidance capability in the vertical plane. Four-dimensional area navigation system it provides navigation in the horizontal plane, has a guidance capability in the vertical plane and has a timing function. Navigation specification is requirement by aircraft and aircrew to support specific operations in defined airspace. These are of two types. RNAV specification. RNP specifications. We will concentrate only on area navigation. A navigation specification based on area navigation that does not include the requirement for performance monitoring and alerting, designated by the prefix RNAV, such as RNAV-5. 
Arnav 5 also known as basic Arnav it is defined as area navigation that meets the track keeping accuracy equal to or better than plus or minus 5 nautical mile for 95% of the flight time Arnav 1 also known as precision Arnav it is defined as area navigation that meets the track keeping accuracy equal to or better than plus or minus 1 nautical mile for 95% of the flight time Specific approval is required for the specified Arnav operations As discussed navigation specification is requirement by aircraft and air crew to support performance based operations in defined airspace We will concentrate only on area navigation Arnav 10 are used for oceanic and remote navigation application Whereas Arnav 1, 2 and 5 are used for on route and terminal application Now we will read on route and terminal chart for that we will discuss following elements Waypoint it can be flyby or flyover Area navigation leg type 1. It is described with two letter code specifying the leg type on a procedure explaining how a leg is to be flown. First letter path. V equals heading. C equals course. F equals course from a fix. H equals hold. D equals direct. T equals track. Second letter terminator where leg should terminate. A equals altitude. D equals DME distance. Example. V equals heading to an altitude. TF equals track between two fixes. RNA V leg type 2. Two categories of leg types exist. Bounded leg type it begins and ends at a waypoint. Unbounded leg type either begin or end at a unspecified or conditional point such as an altitude rather than a waypoint. RNA V leg type 3. Track to fix a specified track over ground between two waypoints. direct to fix and specified track from a known position to a waypoint heading to an altitude specified heading to a specific altitude termination at an specified position these are stars and sids charts how to decode standard instrument departure chart the head of document will tell you the type of chart the name and icao code of the applicable airfield type of chart it is standard instrument departure chart 2 RNAV 1 GNSS required on board alert system not mandatory thus under surveillance environment only 3 the transition altitude 4 the list of frequency to reach ATCOR data frequency 5 code of the applicable airfield 6 the list of departure routes depicted on the chart 7 warning or specific instructions for pilot 8 minimum sector altitude Now this chart and table shows that after departure aircraft will climb runway heading to an altitude 2000 feet or higher. So this leg will terminate at specific altitude but in specific position. Next waypoint is Juliet Papa 005 flyby point direct to fix and specified track from unknown position to a waypoint. So after runway heading reaching 2000 feet aircraft will turn right for Juliet Papa 005. Next waypoint is 18 decimal 15 miles from Juliet Papa 005 which is Depass. For standard instrument departures only altitude restrictions will be mentioned at point of conflict. Lateral path conformance studies shows that after implementing of area navigation in terminal aircraft are better able to keep tracks thus air traffic controller can handle more traffic in the give volume of airspace. Use of area navigation started in the 1970s. Early equipment consisted of inertial reference systems combined with a position update system based on VOR and TME. The translation of the existing conventional routes into area navigation computer code was based on simple point to point navigation. Those points were marked as waypoints. With time area navigation has become a brilliant navigation method to optimize flow of traffic by more efficient use of available airspace. permitting the establishment of more direct routes to accommodate a greater flow of on route traffic and terminal traffic thank you for watching this video don't forget to like share and subscribe us see you next time till then take care of yourself